everybody, it's Hannah at the Doodlebug and Jasper, Indiana. Welcome to our daily Facebook Live. Um, so yesterday we did not have a whole lot of new stuff, so we did some just fun little techniques, checked out some different products that we have in this store, but today we got in like three, four orders. We got in four orders today, so whew, today was a big day, and we've got two orders checked in for you already. So Leslie is working on order number three and I may get to order number four tomorrow. If not, Leslie will get to that on Monday and who knows what else is going to come in on Monday. And then I can show you all that good stuff on Tuesday um, when I'm back in the store. So the store is open tomorrow. We are open from 10 to 3 and don't forget tomorrow we do have our Copic classes. So uh, if you are coming to our Copic classes, I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Otherwise, we do still have room for you if you would like to come to our Copic classes tomorrow. Closed on Sunday and then Monday we'll be open um, 10 to 5 and then Tuesday we'll be back uh, 10 to 6. So that's kind of a little bit of a nutshell what's going on the next couple days around here. We did send out an email today about our next late night crop um, here at the store. So we try and do some kind of crop once a month. And um, so this month for March we already did our late night crop. April we're going to have our weekend retreat. So that's going to be at Santa's Lodge. And then May for National Scrapbook Day slash Cinco de Mayo slash Derby Day. Um, we're going to do a late night crop. I believe that's May, well, May the 6th because May the 5th is Cinco de Mayo. Duh. Um, so we'll have that here in the store. All right. So today I'm trying to think where I'm going to start with you guys. I think we're going to start with restocks and then we'll do spellbinders. So I'm going to flip it around. And hopefully... You guys have good sound. Um, we kind of tested a little bit today with the um, different microphones that I got in. And I think our best one is something I had in my purse all along, which was my 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 earbuds. So yeah, the boys got me those for Christmas a couple years ago and I just used them. King Coronation Day to, oh my gosh, we just have so much to celebrate that day. So I'm like, we're gonna wear, we're gonna wear crazy hats that day for Derby Day. We're gonna have tacos, we're gonna craft. So, so much fun stuff that day. All right, so let's start with some restocks. Restocks, here we go. Graphic 45, we got in the Let It Be collection kit again. We just got this in the other day. Restocked another one on the shelf sold over the weekend so here it is back in stock again so again that's the graphic 45 let it be collection then the super awesome collection just got that in like last friday as well sold it over the weekend at the late night crop again i love this one not so much for the superhero theme but the backs of these papers or are really good for teenage boy pages because the colors are good. They're a little bit grungy, um, just good geometric kind of shapes. So that's why this is one of my favorite ones that we have in right now because it is really hard to find stuff for teenage boys. All right, next up, Simple Life, or I'm sorry, Simple Stories. Um, what is this one called? My Story, there we go, good Lord. Simple Stories, My Story, that's why I was so confused here. Got this collection kit back in. Flip it over to the other side so you can kind of see the colors and the sticker sheet there. Just a fun little collection. And we do have more of the line in stock embellishments on the shelf. We're just restocking the collection kit today. Another Simple Stories collection kit that's in. This one is The Simple Life. I think, I mean, this one is really selling probably better now than when it first came in. I think when it first came in, there was so much other new stuff, it just kind of got overlooked. But the colors are beautiful. It's a great family line. Family is shockingly kind of hard to find. So there's that one. Restock on that. Restock on the Echo Park. It's springtime. This is just a cute little line. Got all kinds of good colors, good spring icons here too. It's got some little gnomes in it. It's not a crazy over the top gnome line. And for those of you that are watching, how's my sound? Do you have good sound today? 
Again, like I, I know sometimes you'll say that my sound goes in and out. It's great, and then it kind of surges on you. So just kind of wondering how, how these are doing. It, it seemed like whenever we listened back earlier, this was kind of um, my earphones, earbuds, whatever you want to call them. That was the best sound quality. Sounds good. Sounds good. Good. Awesome, awesome. So good so far. Awesome. Well, maybe we, we found the fix. For me, I sound super muffled right now because there's things in my ears. So it's, I, I feel like I'm underwater. It's just, it's just going to take me a little bit of time to get used to that. No big deal. But so if I start getting too loud because I'm yelling, <laughs> because I can't hear myself, you let me know. Cons consistent volume level and clear. Perfect. That's what I need to hear. Thanks, my friends. All right, this one here I have not gotten in so far, and I had a few people request it. They were wanting to see it, so I want to show you this. I'm going to open it up. This one is called Flea Market, and it came out at the same time that Vintage Life and Bloom did. Simple Stories came out with so many. They came out with four big lines at one time, and, you know, I'm, I'm just one girl with one budget, and, well, I don't have just one credit card. I have three that I spread everything out amongst. But um, it makes it kind of hard sometimes when there's too many lines that come out all at once for me. So this one here, we have not had in yet. Cute colors, though. The colors are uh, kind of close to the Crafty Girl line they did a few years ago. So if you've got any of that at home that you're wanting to, to use, I think you could mix the two together and they'll be really, really cute. Again, this is called Flea Market. And I've got collection kits here and also journal bits. If there's other things you would like for the line, we can definitely get that in. I had somebody want the, um, we've got card kits on pre-order for this line. So we're working on putting that card kit together, and it called for the journal bits. The mountain scene is a neat one, isn't it? So yeah, it's just kind of a fun, you know, very eclectic, which makes sense. Kind of a hodgepodge of stuff with exactly, that's what a flea market is. Um, so you kind of get, it's a little bit retro. You've got, you know, this looks like it's been stitched, just perfect. Perfect kind of little little flea market finds, like the little vintage um, suitcases there, the old radios, old cameras, old dishes, old furniture. Really fun. So again, that is flea market finds, and then we've got the journal bits as well here. Back in stock, almost covered them up. This is flip it where you can see it. These are the bits and pieces that match the wildflower line. That was Simple Stories and My Mind's Eye. There we go. In our specialty paper, we just restocked the textured red foil. Let's see how shiny it is. And you can see the texture in there too. It's fun. This one here, I'm going to walk over to the shelf and see. Yep, it's right here. Okay, so this is from Pink Fresh, and it is a stamp die cut and also foiling die combo for this set. So you've got words like carry on with courage, let's celebrate, thanks for everything, so grateful, hope your day is wonderful, good things will find you, take care, wishing you the best, and miss you. You can stamp that and cut it out, or you can foil that and then cut it out, or just stamp it, or just foil it, but it was, it's kind of harder to read on here what all you're getting, but it is on the back, right there, so you can foil these, these will go through your hot foil, so your glimmer, um, if you've got the uh, gopressin foil, or if you have the one from Gemini, this is going to heat up on that little hot pad, and then you're going to use your rolls of foil. Back in stock, what would a live be without some of our little alphabet soup from Doodlebug Designs? I Again, I love 
that these are going so well and you guys are loving these because they are really good alphabet sets. So this one here is the Beetle Black. Beetle Black is back in stock. These are restocks as well. Um, it's, it's been a while since we showed them though because this graduation line came out super, super early. Um, so we've got back all three of the stamps for this graduation line from Echo Park. This one here is the huge celebration stamp. So you got things like Reach for the Stars, Congratulations, Graduate, the hassle worth the, the tassels worth the worth the hassle. Graduation is just one more reason to be proud of you. Time for a huge celebration. And here's another one. Um, hip hip hooray grad. You did it, graduate. Congrats, grad. We are so proud of you, graduate. Shine on and keep reaching for the stars. And then this one here is called You Did It Stamp Set. And then finally. The other one they came out with that we were also out of, this one here has got uh, graduation class of, and you can fill it in. It's got a nice little number set there too. We're so proud of you, class of, nice little wreath there. Uh, congratulations, you are rad. And this one is called class of stamp set. This one here is a new item. I know right now so many companies are coming out with their magnetic glass mats and they're kind of huge and with that they're kind of expensive so i thought okay well you know i love a good glass mat i love the idea of them being magnetic do we need a huge one some of you do but not all of us do so i thought this was just a nice little option so it's magnetic you can see on the back there is the magnetic mat on the back of that and then you've got a, cla a glass mat here this is nice because as you are crafting it will hold your stencil down for you it will hold your paper down for you well good gravies I'm like i don't even have fake nails and i can't get that out well geez louise okay in a perfect world there we go <coughs> i would have Add that out for you okay so we can flip this over to the front and then you can see this is going to hold you like your stencil in place so yesterday when i was stenciling i could have put this down to hold my stencils in place and that would have been nice um it's uh let's see here the size on it is well, i thought it would just tell me real nice and easy but we've got one two three four five so almost six by a little bit over eight. So it's gonna fit most of your stencils just fine on here for whenever you're working with those. So very fun, and because it's glass, it's gonna clean off really easy. And the best part is the price is 20 bucks, whereas some of those big ones are $100. Um, so I thought, well, this might be just something good to start with. If you're not for sure if you want one or not, are you gonna use it, are you gonna like it? Instead of jumping in and doing that $100 investment at 20 bucks, that's not so bad. Back in stock, so, you know, speaking of magnetic, our little magnetic cases are back in stock from Artbin. These are super great, super nice for holding your little dies and things like that while you're working so your dies don't float away. And it's also nice, as you are working, you can even put your die cuts, the things that you've already cut out, in there as well, too. All right. This is another new item. It shipped separate, totally forgot I even ordered this whenever I showed you guys the line the other day from 49 and Market. So this goes with their travel line and it is just the cutest little spiral notebooks. So you can add these to a page, you can add them to a mini book, you can use them as just a journal while you're traveling or you could turn it into its own little mini book. So you've got two of them in there They've got these great little tabbed pages. So there's the first one. This one here is six by 8.25, it says. And then this one here is four by six. Oh, and it's got the cute little tabs in there as well too. And again, it's not too travel-y to where you could not use it for different things. So very, very fun. So if you already ordered a lot of your um, 49 and Market, the travel, or the, what is it, everywhere, 
and you want to add this, just let me know and we will get those pulled. I know some of you, you still have those lines here to pick up. So we'll just add it to your bag. For the rest of you, we can just add it to your next order to ship out. This is a little restock here on some of our horse stickers. These are from Paper House. So we've got horsing around, two beautiful horses there. A little, um, that's, a, that's an English saddle. You've got Giddy Up, I Love Horses. Two Everywhere Notebooks, Miss Sarah, perfect. I can pull that for you, got it. A little Scotch tape runner. I showed this the other day. Um, I'm really feeling like Scotch changed the shape of this because um, it looks a little different online. I'm trying to find a runner as a special order for a customer that already has refill. So I'm, oh, I'm a little, I'm a little ticked because the picture does not look like this on the screen when I ordered it. But nevertheless, this is a really good little tape runner. So if you're needing a little tape runner to check out, we've got these Scotch ones in stock now. I've got a lot of them now because I keep ordering to try and find the one she needs. Uh, this one here, so I was just working on the um, the acrylic paint section the other day. Thought, you know, this is kind of fun to put in Easter basket. So I went ahead and did one of these little value packs. So you get all these little pods of paints right here. So this one here, you've got 16 different paints and it's eight bucks. And then we just need to restock some of our basic colors. So we got red in, and these are the multi-surface ones. I like the multi-surface ones because they even work on glass. Um, this is the one that you can bake in the oven. It's great for outdoors. So this is a really good acrylic paint. So we got in lipstick red. This one here is pumpkin patch orange, turf green, Yep, turf green. And then this one here was a new one. I hadn't had this one before. It's called Waterfront. It's a really pretty aqua light blue. Some new Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz has um, some new stuff coming out with Advantis. First up, we've got something called Backdrops. So Backdrops here, you've got all these fun sheets in the pack. It says, a Eclectic Collection of Printed Memorabilia Papers. Well, let's check out his eclectic collection. Two waterfront. Yes, ma'am. You got it. I'm going to add it with your notebooks. Thank you. All right. So first of all, thickness. Oh, these are a de decent thickness. I would say um, just like a regular double-sided paper. Not as thick as like 49 and market paper, but regular paper weight. Okay. One waterfront. Why did I say two? I read two for whatever reason. Maybe because it was two, two notebooks. There we go. Switching my pile around. Okay. So you can kind of see you've got one side that's solid and one side that is printed in these. Get the flip. Come on. There we go. So those are really, really fun. And again, these are backdrops. It, this is volume number five. I'm going to flip it here so you can see some of the different prints you've got in there. And they are six by ten. That's the sizes on those. Six by ten. And then this one here is volume four. So volume four. Much more neutral. Same size, I'm going to assume probably same weight as well. Yep, same weight. Let's see if I can't flip through this one a little better for you. Really fun. So they've got a lot of like ledger looking ones, vintage stuff in here. This one kind of reminds me more of Tim's style there but I do love the colors in this one. All right, another new one from Tim is his layered frames. So you can see they've just got some fun little prints on them. Those will blend in with lots of different things. And then a huge pack of ephemera came in as well too. Got the pop down there, here we go. 136 pieces of his ephemera in here. Try and flip it real quick. 
Look at all those pieces that are in there. Lots of great colors. Looks like it's going to go really well with this volume five. All kinds of fun little bits and pieces. These came in by special order, but I always like to show the special orders just in case you would like one too. This one here we've had before. It's Tim's um, from the last chapter that Sizzix did with him. This one here is the, I believe, mosaic. Yep, mosaic embossing folder, and it is one of the 3D ones. This one here we had not had in, though. This one here, again, same, same release, and this one is called Dotted. So just some cool little dots on the background there. That might just be a really cool, subtle embossing folder. Some other things we got in from Tim Holtz and Ranger. So we got in another of the craft tools. Again, if you remember last time when I was talking about this one, this is not my go-to for heat embossing, but I do love it for drying things with my mixed media projects, um, speeding up, you know, drying time for my inks, my paints, anything like that. It's also not very loud, which is nice as well too. It will emboss, it just takes a lot longer. It doesn't get as hot as quick as what your embossing guns do, which is good because sometimes in class, you know, when you guys bring your regular heat tools and we're trying to dry something, you can actually cook the paint and it bubbles. You can cook your glaze and bubble it because you, you know, you kind of almost boil the water out. So I like um, Tim's craft tool for that. But again, to me, it's not not my go-to, my favorite one for heat embossing, but it definitely will heat emboss as well. Just takes a little longer. You've got to kind of heat your paper up a little bit. But yep, quick dry inks, glues, and paints. Little restock here on our Distress Inks, frayed burlap, black soot, and walnut stain. We just needed some good neutrals. Restock on our trimmer blades. This is for the Dress My Craft. This is eye blades for um, Fiskars, and it's the titanium ones. And my price went down this time, so I passed that along to you. So if you just bought some, I'm, I apologize. These went down like 20 cents. Not a huge decrease, but my price went down, so I passed it along to you. Comfort blades are back in stock. We were talking last time about this one, how nice it is because it's got it's more ergonomical and it's got a nice little cushy grip there for you as well, too. And it also stores extra blades down at the bottom of the of the knife. And you get four blades with it as well, too, which are probably gonna last you a long time. Two of those back in stock. The nouveau glue pins are back in stock. We have been selling a ton of these lately. Thank you so much for that. I need to pull out the other ones and just show you some of the other neat glue pins that Nouveau does. But this is the one that has a nice little ballpoint pin tip to it. So it is nice for adding little bitty details to things. It's great, you know, for going back over die cuts, you know, pre-made die cuts and adding just a little bit of glitter to them. It's great for your die cuts that you cut out especially your little ones, you can use this to glue them down as well. Fiskars blades, you got it, Miss Debbie, thank you. Adding that to my pile. All right, friends, as we move into prom season, prom is really, really hard to find anything for. So this is not a new one, but just one I haven't had for a while. So restock this one from Reminisce. So you've got prom, the girls, the guys, best night ever, prom night, elegant, the dance, picture perfect, night of dreams and it's all about the dress so a little prom sticker sheet there also another one adding to the band section i love this one it's okay i'm with the band <laughs> it's so cute and it's got the little football field on there and then for our summer section here's one for cruising also in our school section here's a senior one comfort blade you got it miss debbie thank you I think one of those is even special order too, so those might almost be gone. Uh, another thing for the Tim Holt section, this is the Big Talk Snarky. This one sells so well just because they're fun and they're decent size too, so they're a little bit easier to see. You smell like drama with a headache. Please get away from me. You are always, um, are you always as stupid or are you making a special effort today? I'm glad we share a sense of humor and an understanding that I'm slightly funnier. I think that was cute. It's okay if you disagree with me. 
I can't force you to be right. <laughs> I think my guardian angel drinks. Sometimes in the morning, I think about all the people I'm going to piss off today, and I smile. <laughs> oh, that's just wrong. Oh, I'm multitasking. I can't listen, ignore, and forget at the same time. Uh, friendship must be built on a solid foundation of sarcasm and shenanigans. That's cute. People who tolerate me on a daily basis are the real heroes. Some of you need to put this in your office <laughs> on a little plaque on your door. <laughs> I'm starting to think I will never know better. I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? Um, I know right from wrong. Wrong is the fun one. Um, I'm not great at advice. Can I interest you in a sarcastic comment? Uh, starting tomorrow, whatever life throws at me, I'm ducking so it hits someone else. And then I think they, uh, yes, they repeat, but now in the black colors. So, so fun. All right, next up. Oh, hey, Leslie. Will you bring me that marker tray? Pretty please. Thank you. Next up, sports section. Got in softball page pieces from Simple Stories, as well as tennis from Simple Stories. Yep, just set it there. Perfect. Thanks. Okay, so this item I'm really excited about, and I only got one in because I was not sure how markers were going to fit in it. So this is from Crafter's Companion, who owns Totally Tiffany, so I should have known it was going to be awesome. Um, and this is their ultimate pin storage. Now, whenever you put this together, it has all different ways that it will work. Um, I did it as the staggered one which is called they call it diagonal okay i could have stacked them right on top of each other for vertical and they will also work horizontally as well too so you can put two you can see here you can put two side by side um, and lock them together that way and then you could probably even build up the little rows but look how great the markers fit in here so in the store um i did the copics we have tombos and we also have sketch markers so those are our three markers that we have in stock right now i don't have any olos here but i think the olos are going to fit in there as well because they are they're a round marker um but i don't think they're any thicker than what these sketches are so I think the Olos are going to fit in here as well, too. But look how nice that looks in there. So you've got enough in here to hold 72 pins. And we can always order more and stack more. I want to see how they work side by side. Because that is one I did not. Oh, yep, there we go. Hm. Genius. So they do. I just didn't get them to hook together. They do hook together this way as well and then that way they will sit side by side and then you could stack another one up on top of there so those little holders are 40 which is not bad at all for such a cute and versatile stack so again you can stack them straight up and down you can do it side by side or you can do that diagonal like I did here, and it just kind of throws it off just a little bit, and then that way they kind of diagonal up. And I put chows in there, I put tombos in there, which means you could also put lapins in here as well too, and the sketch markers fit in there great too. Um, and once Olo comes in, if we still have one of these in stock, I will test the Olo in there as well. So really excited about that, because I know that's one thing that, you know, we all struggle with storage and cute storage, functional storage. And with this, you can see them. You could kind of lay them up side by side um, with your different color families, things like that. So we got that in. Hexagon boxes. Oh, I was going to bring my hexagon box back here. So the explosion box came back here. <laughs> So here is our explosion box. I did this quite a while back. So they come in plain black and it's a nice little chipboard box. So they're very well made. And whenever you take the lid off, 
Look how it explodes out. So all I did, I did not add any pages to this. The only thing I did was cover the pages. So this page was already built in, already built in, and this is the outside, already built in. Then I put a little spot here. So think coming up, we've got Mother's Day. We've got graduations. We've got Father's Day. So three great events coming up that this would be perfect for, especially graduation. This would be an awesome one to decorate for a grad. Put some gift cards in there, tuck some money in here. Maybe, um, they, and this, they are, thank you, Sarah. The explosion boxes are so easy because it's already made for you. All you have to do is cover and add some fun little things. Now, here's the best part. Okay, so you go to Hallmark, you go to CVS, you grab a card, which I know a lot of us are card makers, so, but hear me out here. You walk in there, you try and buy a card, and you're not going to leave with a card for less than seven bucks, okay? Watch. This little guy here is $6.29. That's it. A pre-made explosion box for six bucks, you know, and decorating that so stinking cute. Then that's something that they can even keep. Um, you know, Connor, you know, he's got his cards. They are tucked away in a box by mom. I saved them all. He did not. I mean, you know, one day he'll want to look back at them, but it wasn't something that he was saving at the time. But this is definitely something really cute that I can see him, you know, keeping in his room. So just kind of setting out. So explosion boxes back in stock. These little craft tapes, got those back in. You've got a gold one, kind of a charcoal glitter one. Then you've got a gold foil dot one. So you get all three of these washies for $3.69. Great deal on those. Back in stock from our Prima line. These are the little acetate butterflies. I know one of these was special order, so I've got two left on those. Oh, you did life advice for your grads. That's awesome. And then picture and cash. That is really, really cute. Some quotes would be really fun in there as well. You know, if you're doing a Mother's Day one, just pictures over the years would be good. Or if you're doing it, say, for, you know, for a grandparent for Mother's Day, putting, you know, pictures of your kids in there, that would be perfect too. That would be awesome if you have a, oh my gosh, so if you've got somebody like a, in a nursing home, that would be really cool for them to have as well because it's not too big for them to set in their room, but how fun would that be for them to flip through and look at? That's neat. Prima Mold back in stock. This one is the moth one. So it's beautiful moths and butterflies. Doodlebug Designs, Over the Rainbow, Collection Kit back in stock. And believe it or not, we were out of every single one of our Pink Fresh inks. So we were out of a few, and then I had a gal come in. She took Dolly's class, loved the inks, um, because Dolly used Pink Fresh inks in the class, and then she wanted all the sets. So we're going to go through these kind of quick. So these are your blues. These are great for your layering stamps and your layering stencils because they're already colored for you. Oh, good. Vicky's able. I think, it, you know, I don't know what it was with those. Um, the corded one did fine. Um, I don't know why I bump in and out because I don't hold my phone real far from my face. So I feel like I should have good sound quality. But, um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys are. It's better today. That's perfect. This one here is called Morning Sky. Other kind of bluish color. So this is kind of a bluish green. This one here is called Island Oasis. Then let's go to then greens next. This one is called Garden Stroll. And then we'll do like green greens as well, kind of yellowy greens. This one is called Over the Hills. Another shade, more purpley kind of blues in the first one. This one is called Starry Night. Then let's do purples next. This one here is called Soul of Province. From purples, let's just, we'll kind of finish them off here then in kind of an order that I've got. This one here is your blacks and your grays. Urban raincoat. Reds. Down to some corals. This one's called Heartbeat. 
they use this coral reef a lot in their samples and things like that. Uh, the ones that they post, you, they use that one all the time. The set here is your oranges, Indian summer, your pinks, fairy dust, your yellows, um, rise and shine, and then your browns, wild truffles. All right, so that is everything on our restocks for today. And then next, we didn't have time to put it out, but we've got a huge box in from Spellbinders. All right, so let's check out Spellbinders good stuff here. I've got the catalog here as well. You guys can come in and peruse the catalog at any time. I'm going to kind of keep it here by my side so I can show you samples of some of the stuff as I pull it out. So first up, they have started to do layering stencils and dies. Of course, everyone's doing those. So they're not going to miss a beat, um, you know, not kind of grab that part of the industry. So they did four new ones, and I've got all four in. So you can see some little samples of them here. There's, you've got a stencil, and then there is also a matching die that you can set in there as well. For right now, I just did the bundle with both of them. So you're going to get the stencil and the die together. And when I was able to buy them that way, um, it was a little bit cheaper for you guys too. So I did them as the bundles. So I've got the Hello Bundle, so it's going to have the stencil and the die. Then I've got the For You stencil and die. I think the other two are buried, but they're in the, oh, here we go. I was trying to find them here in the box. Here's the Thank You stencil and die. And then the Make-A-Wish, that one right there, stencil and die. So those came in. This next one here I'll show you, this was a special order. But again, I just show you just in case, you know, maybe you haven't seen it before. This one is, it's a glimmer and a dye. It's called Holiday Florals. There's that one. This one is a new one. This one here is for the glimmers line. And it's a hot foil plate and then a dye is the match. But isn't that pretty? But that was really, really pretty. So you could do that kind of as the front of your card, or you can foil it and then use these to cut foiled butterflies out. I'm not for sure if that one is in here or not. It is new. Let me see here. Flipping through here. Mm -hmm. all. I did get this teacup in. It's in there. I did get this mason jar. It's in there too. I did not order the whole catalog. So if you're seeing stuff and you don't see me pull it out of the box, you just let me know. I Anymore, I order from Spellbinders probably once a month. Here it is right here. But they don't have a sample with it. Well, shoot, all that work for nothing. I don't even see a sample where they used it. Nope. Oh, and I did get the hummingbirds too. So they're in there as well. Make a wish bundle, you've got it. Pull that out. All right, so let's just kind of start from the top and we'll work our way down. Back in stock is that cute little explosion box that we've done quite a few different samples in the store. And you can put so much stuff in this little guy. Um, I know we had a group of ladies come in, so four of these right off the back are being shipped out to four friends. Um, but we did the one with like little Christmas stuff sticking out of it. Just a cute little box. I know they've got the little balloon on here, but does not do it justice. This is such a fun little die. So we've got the box dies back in stock. Here is a little hot foil one. It says happy birthday, hugs and wishes. Kind of see the size on that one. This here is a special order. But again, just showing it to you. That way you know that I can get in anything that they have for you. No problem at all. It's one of the stitching ones. This was a regular die. And then they redid it as a stitching die. So it may look familiar because we did have it as a regular die. So this one here is called Stitched Joy. 
And there it is on the back. So you can see all your little spots to stitch. Here is that mason jar. And you get the little flowers that are going to pop out of it as well. I love how it's got the texture in the mason jar too. So we've got mason jars in here. Here's that little teacup. This was a special order, but we got in more as well. That's a fun one. I've been seeing some cute stuff being made with that. And let's see what all they had. Do they have? I don't want to make you sick as I'm flipping through the book so quick here. Okay, so right here, they've got the teacup. It's hard to see there's a teacup there. But they got the teacup filled with flowers. Teacup for you, Miss Vicky. Perfect. I'm putting that to the side for you. And then here's the mason jar. Here's a teacup again right here. Really pretty. All right, so putting some teacups to the side. Are you heading out, Miss Leslie? All right, well, you have a great evening. Enjoy your weekend. This one here is Glimmer Ferns. Teacup for Debbie, too. Well, I'm glad I ordered extra, I think. Whoop, whoop, that's a popular one. Teacups are now gone because um, I got in three. So if anybody else responds that they want a teacup, no worries. I will just stick it on my next Bellbinders order. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, Glimmer Ferns here. That's a really pretty one. Dolores, teacup for you. All right, Miss Dolores, you'll be on my next order. And then here's, so here's the ferns. And then here's where they used it on a card. So see how it's kind of in the background real subtly? And then they've got the flowers on top. So that's really pretty. So there's that one. Like I said, I know one of those is special order too. Okay. They did some different paper lines. Um, and they were okay. I, you know, I can definitely get them in. But I did love, you know me and my rhinestones. I did love the sparklies. Look how pretty those are. These are called Floral Friendship Gemstones. These are beautiful. I mean, they've got good texture. They're not super thick, but the colors are really pretty. And it's got variation in the colors as well, too. So Floral Friendship Gemstones. Quick Trimmers. So these are perfect and so much easier to cut your foil. Um, it is, you know, whenever you try and cut it with the scissors, you can't cut it straight. You end up wasting foil. It wants to fold and crease. So this has like almost like a little seal where you um, put it, the foil down on the mat and then you've got a little top section you put on so it holds it down as you're cutting. You can also use this for cutting quick strips as well too. So you can use it as an actual paper cutter. Right there is your paper one. And then there's a foil cutter in there as well. It's got a nice little self-healing mat on the bottom. And again, like I said, you've got your foil blade and your paper blade. And it's got the top little section that holds the foil down for you as you're cutting or holds your paper down for you as you're cutting. And you can see here, less foil waste. And that's exactly right. Like anytime I do a demo, I always tell you guys, dang it, I forget to bring my trimmer back because I just kind of pull my foil, pull my machine. But I love the trimmer for cutting that foil. It makes it so much easier. So quick trimmers are back in stock. Some of the little smooth discs. I know I've got quite a few of those in the box. They're not a sequin. They're a, a little disc. Really, really cool too. So you could use these in shaker cards. You can just glue them down. Fun little um, card, or sorry, fun little flower centers. You could use them as flowers themselves too. That would be fun on some twigs. Put these on there like little flowers and berries. So this color here is called Lagoon. Since we've got Easter coming up, we got in some fun, kind of brighter, more springy foils. We've got two different ones. You kind of see them side by side here. This one here is a little more fuchsia-y. This one is called, oh, that makes sense, fuchsia flower. Yep, that's why. And then this one here is purple. It's called Lavender Petal. So two pretty ones there. 
the best ever craft tape back in stock in all sizes now. So we've got the nice thick one. This is an uh, inch and a quarter. And we've also got the, this should be half inch. Yep, oh, five eighths. Five eighths of an inch. And then the little teeny tiny ones are in here as well too. So what is this for? I love this stuff for holding my paper down when I'm die cutting, holding the paper to the dies, using it for my stencils. I also like to use it for my foil. They use this all the time in their foiling videos. They'll hold the foil down, um, especially whenever you're doing some layering with your foils. You don't want the foil to move, so this is perfect for that as well. So now we've got all three sizes back in stock. <laughs> they also did, they've been adding to their cardstock colors that they offer. Their cardstock is really nice. It's 100 pounds. It cuts great. I love the way it cuts. And they did a sample pack this time of the new colors that they added. So I didn't do the colors individually. I just did sample packs. So I thought, well, that's kind of fun. That way you get um, the variety of colors, but you don't have to buy the big pack of just 10 of one color. So if I can get these to open up, let's go over here. So you've got this real pretty, it looks almost like a cornflower blue. You've got this nice peach color. You've got a pink color in there. You've got yellow and you've got like a sea foam. So there's all of them stacked up next to each other. So really pretty, um, almost like vintage -y spring colors. So I got those in for you guys. What else is in my box? We were out of the wax seal kits. So we got wax seal kits back in stock. Actually, they were out of the wax seal kits. Those just came back in, in stock. So got those. Try not to move too much, guys, sorry. It's always easier when I have these laid out for you. This is fun. Okay, so let me open up one of these. This is, so, you know, Spellbinders now has bought Stampendous. Fran, poor Fran, she was going to retire, but now she's not retiring anymore. Um, but she is just designing. So it's not like she's running a company. She's probably doing more of what she loves anyway with designing. So she is still designing stamps for Spellbinders. And this time she did this really cool paper pack. Fran started a lot of mixed media stuff year different um, embossing powders and things like that. And these papers are so, so pretty. So they're white on one side. Here's your print on that side. So you've got two of that one. And then you've got two of this one. So I guess I didn't have to open it up. They're all both the same. But look how pretty those are. Those are called Joy of Spring. So the Joy of Spring packs, paper packs are in. Glimmer specialty card stock. So my friends, that glimmer, if you find that you are having trouble foiling, your foil just isn't sticking to the paper, it's probably your paper. Um, and a lot of times I don't always use their specialty glimmer paper, but if I'm doing anything larger or those solid plates, I use their cardstock and I have great results with it then. Sometimes if I just pull a regular white off my shelf and I go to foil it, I don't get great results. It, it skips, it misses. Certain spots don't wanna foil and I don't know why, um, but this paper, it just feels a little different and the foil takes to it beautifully. So we've got these in packs of 10 and also packs of 25. So those are great. We've got two Glimmer machines in the box as well. So we were out of Glimmer machines. So those are back in stock. For those of you that bought the raindrop embossing folders a while back, I need to just, this makes me crazy. This big honking mess I've got going here. If you bought the raindrop embossing folders a while back, they now have a stencil, they now have a stencil to match it. Um, so it's going to fit perfectly with what you just embossed. 
and then that way you can color your raindrops. You could use this just on its own as a little stencil, but definitely if you brought that raindrop embossing folder, I would add this guy in because now you can color your little raindrops as well. Let's see here, glimmer machine, more paper. Oh my gosh, there's still a huge stack of dies on the side. I thought I was almost done with the box. Not so much. Oh my goodness, friends. There's tons of stuff in this box. Oh my gosh, there's stuff over here. These little guys, just fun, some fun little cork arrows. I think they're $3.99. You need that stencil, Debbie? You got it. Adding it to my pile for you. Back in stock is the Be Bold Blooms. This is like one of our best-selling Spellbinder sets of all time. Um, and I know part of it is because Bat Manning, she has done a phenomenal job as, you know, she's not even an ambassador or anything for Spellbinders, but just the cards she makes with this set, absolutely stunning. So it, in Spellbinders, just does a great job anymore with their different flower sets that they're doing. And I think a lot of it is this dimension they add in there too. So it just, whenever you cut it out, you've already got detail. If you go to ink it, it picks up that detail. So this is a great set. Also back in stock are the four reflections and I did the bundles. We're going to walk up front and I'll show you those samples I did with those. And then we've got in on its own, just the floor reflection cutting the shape dies. My little duck, my little friend the duck is back in stock. We sold out of him the other day, so he was gone. And we got back in the little raindrops that fit perfectly over the umbrellas. So I'll go up and I will show you those. And then I think there's one more thing in the box. Let's see here. Yep. So my other smooth discs, champagne. All right, so we're gonna go up front and I wanna show you the, um, those floral ones. Walking through the birthday section, adhesives. Still looking pretty good with our Vintage Life in Bloom. I know um, the embellishments I could get back in, I went pretty heavy on them. So if you stop in and shop, still doing pretty good there this um we got in the page pieces for that i showed you that today so you can see the wildflower line is still looking fabulous all right we're going to come up so here's the little box dies that i showed you here's a couple samples that we've got on display with those boxes here we've got a little gnome popping out of that one these would be really cute with little easter bunnies and easter eggs and then here we go. Then those other ones that I got in today for you guys. Here are samples of those. And then this is part of that raindrop line and that just got reordered. So we're out of those, but that sample there. And I thought I had another one. I swear these are the ones of the samples I kept losing. Oh, well, well there's two samples at least for you that are good samples of of those um, flowers that we got in and then also the shape dies that we got into where it does a bundle and then I know we've got the solid plates as well too okay all right Whew. you know for just being two orders that I didn't think were too big that was a lot to show you guys so hopefully oh no that's not it I'm like I found another one of my samples but this was just a different one that I did that same time with some of this stuff. So, whew. all right. Well, before I bid you adieu and say goodbye for the weekend, does anyone have any questions for me? Are there any parts of the store you want to see? Is there anything you're looking for um, that I can show you? Anything like that? I'm trying to see if I find those other samples too. Oh, there's the, I've got the solid ones here. Show you that. There's the solid one. I know we got a little bit of a lag. Hopefully sounded much better for you guys today. So hopefully we have improved that. Um, and again, I just, 
it's, it's almost irritating to me. I never thought about these guys because I carry my purse every single day. And here I ordered two microphones and that little wireless one didn't even work at all. And that was the most expensive out of all of them. So I'm sending that dude back. Do not need him. I don't even know. I mean, it said it would work for Facebook, but then in another place I read that it said it wouldn't work for Facebook. So who knows? So, all right. Well, I don't think anybody has any questions for me. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys so I can get all that cleaned up and work on putting it out um, before Rita gets here in the morning for our Copic classes. So I hope you guys have an amazing and fun weekend. It is cold here in Indiana. I have no idea what the weather is supposed to be like the rest of the weekend, but hopefully you guys have some great plans. Tonight we're making homemade ramen. I'm so excited about that. BJ makes homemade ramen. I did not even know you could make ramen. I mean, okay, I knew you could make ramen, but I didn't know people actually made their own ramen. Um, when I think of ramen, I get the like the 42 cent packets um, at the store. That's our ramen. No, he makes real ramen. So we are doing ramen tonight with the boys. Um, and then tomorrow after I get off work, I'm very excited about working tomorrow because we are um, drywalling a bathroom. Not mine this time, it, it's his, and him and Connor are drywalling. So luckily I um, I have to work, so I miss out on a lot of that. So yay, but I'm sure it'll be just in time for me to sand when I get there, and I'm not excited about that. So, oh well. All right, everybody. Well, until next Tuesday, because I doubt if I will have time to pop on here tomorrow with all the classes and stuff going on. You guys have a great weekend. We'll get lots of good stuff checked in for you. Um, and as you watch this and you watch me on replay, just leave me a comment of anything that you saw um, that you may want from the video, or if there are things you're looking for, leave me that comment as well too, and I will do my best to find them for you. So you guys have an amazing and blessed weekend. I will see you next week. Bye.